Hello again. This is the part two. From part two, I like to introduce my recent study with my uh, colleagues. So I put the title here: Intersection of Scholarly Output and Knowledge Networks, including Semantic Connections, Peer Citations, Web-Based Attention, and the Type of Funding Bodies. But I don't think I can explain all the details of the, my recent studies. So, within the within time frame, let me go through with the you know, the semantic connections and web-based attentions. Okay. So, if I have another chance or opportunity, uh, and then I will introduce my latest research on the, the network among the funders and peer citations. Okay, let's go with the, you know, this model again the, to review what I have toys. So Triple Helix is a basic model of innovation core. So this uh, should be the, the primary unit of analysis according to the root radius drop. But this can be expanded to the quadruple helix. Yes, and then including the context of society and democracy. And then also can be expanded to the quintuple helix, context of natural environment and society. So this can be the n-tuple helix. So for example, recently there is the award from the Triple Helix Association, the major, you know, Triple Helix Association, International Triple Helix Association, they established award, Triple E award. But the concept of the quadruple helix was applied to the, this award and its extension to the entropy helix. Why? This award include additional institutional dimensions, such as civil society, particularly local government. So this award emphasized the association between the university and their local government. So the strong association between the local government with the university and then the more likely to get awarded. So this is also an example of the quadruple helix. Okay. So I have recently published the measuring helix interactions in the context of economic development and public policies in a collaboration with the Peter Stack, the who has finished the PhD in the Netherlands and he is now working for the Asian Business Institute in Malaysia. So, so this special issue was organized by Professor Kai in Triple Helix Journal. The title of the, this journal is Triple Helix. This is the Scopus Indexed Journal. Okay, in the past, so, you know, there was the government and then there was expert like me or like you. And then there was a the public. So media was here. So media was is the the between be, you know, between the government and then public. Of course government can communicate with the public directly and expert consulting for the government. But the world we live in, as you can see. The media still exists. However, there are the, another, you know, new media we call the social media. So this legacy media giving away its dominant position to the, this the online digitalized new network social media, and then public also government. The relationship between public government is becoming more equitable, is more equal 
and then there are the, the conversions rather than divergence. And government also should to listen to the you know public through the social media. Okay, so this uh, this landscape give the some different environment for triple helix interaction, the government, university, industry, or the quadruple helix, including the public. So, we could apply this changing environment to the entropy helix or helix interactions. So now, we say, Helix interactions instead of the triple helix or quadruple helix or entropy helix. So helix interaction, the term helix interaction has become a major theoretical concept these days. So I have published the article with my uh, former student, Dr. Hedge Park, and then we examined the performance of Asian countries, South Korea, Japan, Taiwan, Singapore, and China, in terms of what? In terms of their research mentions on digital platform. It's very interesting. Why? We did not evaluate research publication from the these Asian countries. We evaluated the mentions of the, their research publications through the internet mediated activities. We call it item metrics. For this research, we employed the concept of the knowledge the concept of helix space. Okay, so helix space, so helix space can be triple, can be extended to the quadruple, can be extended to the entropy, but quadruple uh, space, helix space is more common. So we say innovation, knowledge, consensus, and government. So this kind of the field and then circulation theory, I coined this term, helix field and circulation theory. Of course, this theory or this hypothesis or this principle or this concept did not come from my own brain. This is based upon previous approach established by the Henry Etkoich and his colleagues. Henry Etkoich, he proposed triple helix field interaction model. So university, industry, and government, they have their own sphere, they have own space, and then they call this is a field. And this field has some kind of the intensity in three dimensional. Okay, so in intensity of the government, intensity of the industry, intensity of the university, and then there is the the synergic intensity here. So I expanded this concept. Helix field and circulation theory. It's not theory yet. It's not the, it's not yet theory, but it will become the theory based upon the you know accumulation of the empirical studies. This is coevolution. So there is the you know social structures, knowledge democracy, civil society. And this is innovation genes, natural environment. So the Kai, Professor Kai, he says this is a neo triple helix model of innovation ecosystem. So 
he is replacing traditional triple helix of interactions, university industry government. He is replacing natural environment, social structure, and innovations for the new triple helix models. Okay? And he expanded this model. Like the, this is the triple helix spheres, the traditional model. And then this is a consensus space, knowledge space, innovation space. This come from the Henry et Koichi's field theory. Okay? And then, and knowledge production, wealth creations, normal sequences. This is the traditional role of the triple helix actors. So, he, in his new triple helix model, these three models can make up for each other. Okay? And I expanded these three space models, like I mentioned, four spaces, innovation, knowledge, consensus, and government. So, as you can see in this table, there are triple helix model of innovation ecosystem relational to the helix models. So, knowledge democracy is the most novel aspect of a quadruple helix model. So, this knowledge democracy is very important and then very crucial here. So, let me go to again. My previous research, why I emphasize that uh, social media mentions or online activity, in other words, online presence, web-based visibility, in order to examine the research publications, not directly evaluate research publications. Okay. Okay, here. So, online and traditional. But online and traditional, they can be a twin or they can be coupled. So here, triple helix DNA can be formed by taking role of the, the other institutional actors. And then there's innovation space. There is a knowledge space, there is a consensus space. So this triple helix DNA can generate another innovation, endogenous dynamics, not exogenous dynamics, endogenous dynamics. Okay, so for empirical research, I collected the data from the itometric.com. Oh, so this is the itemetric.com's interface. So, a total of 70,000 research output were collected. So 70,000 research output including journal publications, books, chapters, and then 50,000 of them were output with attention. This means 50,000 out of the about 70,000 research output had the online visibility, which means 50,000 of the 70,000 of research publications have been mentioned on digital social media. Okay, so this is the, our current, and then this is the current research. And then, so we say, exploring scholarly output regarding artificial intelligence. So, we are looking at the particular field, artificial intelligence. So here, social media, use and blog, polish and patent, other sources, academic sources. So, besides knowledge, innovation, government, this is the traditional space. 
and then I added one more space here, consensus space. So this is the quadruple helix space. So helix space. So what they are, this is the definition. Knowledge space, you users can say exchange academic knowledge and sources related to the scholarly context. Innovation space, social media product channels for innovation in the global communication of research apps in the current era. Consensus space, youth media are agents of encouraging global com community and public understanding of science. Government space, government policy related report of a document are included in this count. So this is the you know, specific examples belonging to the each of quadruple helix space, helix space. So for example, tweet, Facebook, okay, LinkedIn, this is the innovation, and news stories, Wikipedia is a consensus, social public consensus, policy document published by national government, federal government, intergovernment agencies, for example, WHO, World Health Organization, Paris. So these the platforms mention research publications, research output. So 50,000 out of 70,000 of research output in artificial intelligence were referred, were acknowledged, were mentioned, were introduced, were disseminated by Helix space, okay? And then we also looked at the geography, North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Oceania. As you can see, there are very much different landscape across geographical areas. Even though innovation space comes up the majority of the helix space across geographical regions, the, the degree of the consensus space in North America is the much more than 10%. And then in the case of Oceania, also the degree or the occupy the, the 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 degree of the consensus space is almost 25% of the innovation space. So very much different landscape. However, innovation space are very dominant and the consensus space came next in government space. So artificial intelligence Research output have been mentioned, innovation space the most, almost 90%, and census space is 10%. So, demographic maps regarding AI related posts on social media platforms, okay, here, like the Paris document, very much concentrated on the North America, particularly in the USA. In Canada, and then the the you know European areas. Why? Because government agencies or intergovernment agencies, for example, World Health Organizations, are located in the you know, Europe and then North America. What about the you know Twitter? Very much widely distributed. Facebook less distribute less widely distributed than Twitter. And news, news is the also very widely distributed. The another research with my former student, Ju, he is the associate professor in China. So we focus on the communication field. And then we look to into the details of the artificial intelligence in communication science journals. So
So this is a you know semantic network between Asia and non Asia. So we tried to compare Asian scholars and non Asian scholars in terms of the the use of the keyword in their research titles. As you can see here, there is the difference. The Asian scholars has the five clusters. But the, the five clusters are the the you know power and ethics, journalism and media, big data and privacy, automation and human machine and communication. On the other hand, non Asian scholars privacy and ethics and social media and fake news. Okay, much more emphasis on fake news, Art artificial attitude and the future. And journalism is the same. And the human machine communication is the same. But so there are just some difference and there's some similarities. Here we also classified the institutional affiliation of the authors who published artificial intelligence topic in communication science journals. As you can see here, the university and university and industry collaboration co-authorship between university and industry and co-authorship university and government. And here, university University industry, university government and government. So, Asian scholars hear these interactions in terms of co-authorship. The Asian scholars hear these interactions in terms of the co-authorship. Okay? And then, we also the content analyzed the method being used in the, their publications, qualitative, quantitative, also the topical focus in their research publications, program development or conceptual, program, program development and con con conceptual. As you can see here, so non-Asian scholars put a little bit more focus on the conceptuals, okay? And here, in Asian scholars, solely author from the university is more popular than non-Asian scholars, as you can see here. And then university put the more, put uh, effort in the qualitative, quantitative, and conceptual. This pattern is consistent across two groups here. This is the last study i like to share for today. So this is the elite scholars, prominent scholars in the field of communication. So I collected their research output and then also how their research output are the mentioned in the digital platform in terms of helix space, knowledge, innovation, government, consensus space. The Twitter is the, the most mentioning source. And then news story came next and blog of Facebook followed. And then, you know, research title count. So how many research titles are mentioned each platform? And then I also analyze what the frequency and sentiment salience. So this is the, the you know, the example of the research analysis from the perspective of Helix space. And then you also, I 
grouped these the mentioning individual mentioning platform into the four helix space like the Twitter, you know, blog, Facebook is the innovation space. And Wikipedia and news story consensus space. Polish document is a Polish space, government space. And then knowledge space, as you can see here, like the QA first, F1000 first. Okay. So, how many research titles are mentioned each of the helix space? And then positivity and negativity sentiment. So this reveals some kind of structural configuration of helix formations. This is a very recent advancement of the helix theory and then its related empirical studies. I do not want to go the details of the, this research because I like to give you the overview of the, the my uh, recent research in general because my talk is not focusing on the individual research. Okay, so let me conclude with uh, this slide. So this slide from the my mentor, my colleague, my friend, Leder Storff. In 2010, the communication of meaning and structuration of, of the expectations and he said that, you know, there are the observable human actions and then human interactions. And then these observable human actions into human interactions. This can be grouped. This can be reduced into the latent structure. And this latent structure organize different meanings. So, the reason why we analyze these semantic connections. The reason why we analyze these space. The reason why we classify the, the co-authorships. The reason why we looking at the structural configuration of helix formations. Because we like to find the latent structures. And these latent structures organize different meanings. And different meanings generated positional meanings in terms of network embeddedness. And then this also influenced reflexive meanings, which means, you know, discursive meanings. So discursive knowledge pops up according to the timeline. Okay? So we could visualize this. This is like a semantic and sentiment network. So this is knowledge space, policy space, innovation space, consensus space, based upon online mentioned data. And then these are the semantics of the research titles. And then the color represents the sentiment. So the blue color, positivity, sentiment, red color, negativity, sentiment. So as you can see, consensus space and innovation space, they are very much positioned in terms of the proximity and policy and knowledge. They are kind of butterfly structures. And some research titles are commonly being used for spaces. Some other key themes, keywords, are being used only by two spaces. So these, you know, visualizations reveals latent structures. And then these latent structures, you know, indicate discursive knowledge structures. Okay, this is also my joke. I hope you like my keynote speech, even though I am giving you the very remote 
presentation. Okay, so thanks so much. And again, I'm very much delighted to participate in this conference is being held by then Shia in Spain. And then thank to the organizers. Thank you. Please do not forget to visit my YouTube channel and there is a very useful, you know, videos regarding the Luge Radar Throw, Triple Helix, and then my research presentations on big data and isometrics and network analysis. Okay? Thanks so much. Bye-bye.